Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay, chat. We are starting the next game, but let me just mark something real quick. For what? He's a really cool guy. I really like him. He's uh he's really smart. I'm glad he took time out of his day to to come back and talk to us. Yeah, I start the stuff chat. This thing's not working. I love Discord. So Vega has a little bit better access, and Merritt also has those hinder grenades to be able to slow down this mobility from Junbin. But you gotta deal with this far up. That's oh, sorry, chat. I didn't start the predictions. Did anyone start the predictions? Yeah, I know. It's too busy. A lot of stuff to do. I'm not. I'm not doing with that. Smoke the space station. At the very start of this tournament that they were mentioning, huh? every time they play against Jumbin Ball, he would not fall under 400 HP. Just an insane... Hello, like, hello. Oh Good interview, guy. Jacob. Job. <gasps> he was, How was he, guys? He, he's awesome. I love it. And he's very inf informational. Um, he, he's, a, he's a really cool guy. I like him. Chat, Jay did well. Is he a better interviewer than me? No, I'm not. You you are you are a great interviewer. But uh, yeah, sorry, chat. I wasn't reading your guy. If you guys were saying anything in chat and whatnot, but uh, he's a really cool guy. Emily, did you try the Yule Mess? I am gonna try it right now. Uh, my dad was texting me. Where did I put my phone? Oh, there's all the phones over here. It tastes like a. But everybody from Crazy Raccoon is either playing super far back or it's an extreme opal. You see, the complete disengage from Crazy Raccoon. Delicious. It tastes like a. Here comes to the barrage. Like a. Quite far up in the skies, this merit pucks him out of there. Got the bob unleashed. It's hard to explain what it tastes like because we don't have anything like this. But to turn on a fire, they're cleaning up this fight. An NA, but. Now it's really yummy. Thank you so much. Um, was they it? Get a chance to actually do, do you remember um, what the username was? Uh, M the crazy X. Oh, MC9, I believe. I don't know if he's still here. With the Genji, regardless. Now in a very good position, someone going extremely low, but here comes the sound barrier now. My dad said you pick this, and then if you give, if you want to put some like, uh, what do you call it, black stuff in there, you can, and have a black light, you can it'll light up. But I don't know if you want to put a black light in there. I don't know. Trick free gets a chance to follow up on Chorong as well, and that's the sound barrier gone. Chorong is actually going to be on the Lucio now. Let's see if Crazy Raccoon can keep. This, uh, keep you themselves must in this like round, but look at Sugar Free here. Yeah, he gets to play so far forward. A little bit. Someone having this Diva Mac active has that secondary lifeline. Oh, lips running out on the Widow. Can sit even further back now. <laughs> try this. Make so Sugar Free overextend. Blade available though for the Genji. This is now an eagle eye view over it as for the like point. Christmas. Oh, let me use my phone. Sorry, chat. I'm gonna use my phone to real quick. I'm not. The point. Everybody on Toronto has already seen this choice. They know they have to play around these pillars in the back of point. Someone below. Yeah, After this the free first brief map, moment, I'm gonna go lip. to the back and bring us some lunch. The There's so much available for Toronto to fight right now, and that's a good start. Lip has to get out of there. All oh, Hugh is in an awkward spot, and Lenny, this. Is what you need right now. Wait, you that is Lenny funny. Crazy Raccoon the could. Value he's been able to get with the could. I'm not saying they would be taken down by Toronto Defiant, but there's this. I'm gonna be honest with you. If Toronto Defiant wins this, that it would be the craziest upset. Also, if it like. It's Not to be mean to Toronto Defiant, but Crazy Raccoon against Toronto Defiant should not be close. Yeah. Crazy Raccoon should do, do what basically Team Falcons did to them. And with ults to spare, Toronto to find a looking good, an aggressive play here, trying to take down Choron. Oh, wow. Oh, 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 my God. Oh, my God. Sugar Free came to play. He made there you go. There you go. There you go. Come on. Come on. Show us NA, baby. Show us NA, baby. That's what I like to see. That's what you need. <laughs> Just beat them when they're down. A 3 0 from Falcons, not Crazy Raccoon, into this position. Uh, shoes sweating. Toronto coming in fresh. 
I think the only reason if Crazy, crazy Raccoon, raccoon does turn. not win because they're boomed they for the first series. match a little bit, and, and also I just don't now. see them as taking any of the other Sugar teams seriously. So they maybe just didn't prepare for this. Saw him on the tracer at first. If Crazy Raccoons does not win this, I feel like this might be the last time you see them all five. Maybe they might make some changes. Apparently, Shu was sick again, yesterday. An early commit here so, he might be still sick, up. or uh, if anything. Oh. That's cool. I learned a lot about Hazard today. Yeah, you need to teach me some interview tricks. This back line. Normally plays with impunity. I actually signed Normally you up to do so more interviews. As the rest if not the today, then row. definitely in the near future. For who, with who? Just, just whatever there's, you know. What do you mean? You, you said you signed me up. So who, who did you sign me up with? Oh, I was just telling Megan. Okay. And you got this. Lucio to be able to help pair up with Ana, but take a look at this crazy raccoon, they're done playing games. Yeah, I need to get better at them. That's interesting, they also got off Wrecking Ball and they went to, uh, Winston. ...that backline support to shoot on that rig. These health packs could be very important to make sure that that Ana has a little bit of a better time versus this Toronto die. You ate that interview, King? You did well? I feel like I'm really bad at interviews, uh, interviewing. I feel like I could ask more questions and be, uh, what do you call it, more engaged. I just... I just don't. I didn't. I didn't want to take up too much of his time, so I felt like. Yeah. Wow. We might see a Toronto Defiant. You ate that interview, King. You did well. Oh my God. Let's look at this here. Padded. There's just so much support coming from the defense matrix as well. Interview you, Skippy. All right. What's the best map in Overwatch? And why is it Dorado? The worry of being That's taken disgusting. out because someone was there to back him up. Toronto to fight and now have ultimates to be able to throw the next fight. Oh. A big whiff from Lip. Uncharacteristic miss there from Lip. Jumbin moves through his bubble and succumbs to the dead eye and finds the head of Lip as well. Chasing Morton Spawn If they can get another pick, this is going to be magical, but doesn't look like they want to go too far. Don't want to in just yet as they are just uh, encountering spawners now. And it's also the last fight, though. So you don't want to actually over-invest right now. You have four yeah. ultimates. They can't mess this up. Good bash, actually, onto Jumbin. He does end up getting nano He forced into this small room. He's damaging someone, but still the self-destruct's going to be there for the remake. Blade from Sugar Free is going to get deployed. The point does end up getting split, but it does not matter. Sugar Free finds the back line with a double blade kill, and now Toronto to find just need to finish up the kills on to Jinbin. Jinbin's hunting for RuPaul right now. Uh oh, Vega. Come Vega on, Vega. Down. It's not a good look, though. This flip might have been what Crazy Raccoon needed. They would have been in OT if they didn't manage to find Yo, 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 yo. Oh, nice. Sugar Free got the mech. Well, I mean, it wasn't really a mech mech, but it was, uh, it was the copy mech. But of the positioning of that fight. Crazy Raccoon now do have that advantage where they get to push a little bit farther forward. The rally in their back pocket. I am not, I'm not playing. When, Jay, when are you playing? I'm not playing. This is, uh, I played on Monday. Oh, it's Friday. First day. have their work cut out for them, but the rally is going to help a lot here as Crazy Raccoon looks to set up. They should have a creator show match on finals day, though. Slowly but surely, trying to find strike. Yeah, it should be on the finals day. Yeah, just like... Replace, oh, replace the orchestra. No one wants to see the orchestra. Why crazy raccoon? Main is going to be the answer. So to find what? Slow rotation, trying to set up for the very best dive. They know. Who wants to see an orchestra chant? It's it's 2024, bro. Just, just go on Spotify, it's listen to your Spotify playlist, and call it a GGs. Watch this pulse bomb. It's going to be fat. Bang. He manages to get the stick in his on top of the ripple as well, but they might be able to heal it up. A good nade from Shuba already. He sank full. Like honestly, in Sweden, I I would expect electronic dance music or like ABBA or. something. Who's 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 ABBA? Who's ABBA? Yeah, Toronto that, ended up falling pretty that quickly there, group. so they get another chance. That came out with to Dancing come back Queen. Into this one and, and just close uh, the man out after here. Dancing and now Queen. They're having to deal with this nano from that Crazy one? Raccoon, though. Junbin's gonna have the primal. But Toronto, this pulse bomb from Sugar Free could be very volatile. Okay, Sugar Free, I taught you how to pulse bomb. Let's see this. That means you gotta land all your pulse bombs. Wait, why are we not looking at the pulse bomb? Nice! 
close, but it might be a little too late because his whole team's already gone. Jay, how did you not know ABBA? I'm gonna be honest with you, you could come to me and tell me any single name and I probably would not know because I don't remember names that well. Able to put lift on one of his best heroes. Trace are so much fun to watch, especially when it is in the hands of one of the best. Mm. Mm. And it forced Toronto into this awful I wish we had this meta instead of Maga. That. What do you mean? So this meta? No, chat. I feel like well. the reason just almost Crazy Raccoons is playing the same thing that the, uh, Toronto, Toronto Defiant, Defiant is doing is because that's what we do in NA, kind of. We don't play... Uh, I, it depends on what map as well. I'm pretty sure we're going to see a lot of Malga, but I, I like this. And Mera on the action. It'll be pretty scary. That's why they're going to roll out with it. Yep, Sugar Free, Tracer, Merit on the Ash. Get no, Merit they just, NA up. just plays what they want. He will do the rest of the work. Ash versus Echo. He's oh my God. He's more mobility to play around these buildings. But Merit is such a sharpshooter. You see him grab this high ground access and take a look for the Echo in the back. 30 HP. Oh, the healing can come in in time. Merit ends up going down to lip. Uh-oh, that's not good. A small rotation there for in Toronto to find, trying to get onto high ground. Someone was up there as well, providing the bubble to Merit, but Raccoons were expecting that. Set up the perfect counter dive. Wait, did you take my, my ugly the sweater to the, the back? No, your ugly sweater is right here. Okay. Away. Because I'm going to wear that when I go in the thing, right? That's what you want me to do? Down as much as possible. Give he's saying a little bit of an easier time to actually get these picks before Toronto make their next approach. Oh, what a... <laughs> yeah, goodbye. One of the best, if not the best, honors in the game. In Shu, up there with the likes of Twilight. An unbelievable legacy Shu has been, car uh, been carving since the Apex days back in like 2016, 2017. Crazy Raccoon in full control. And look at how much he's able to accomplish when he's got Turong on that break. Just way better peel, way better access when Junbin is also there to make sure that you are staying up and healthy and creating so much space. Who do you think is going to take this map? Mm. It's got holes. These things got to. Well, gonna have nano looking as well. at it right now, Toronto's not doing well, but... It's been quite annoying for RuPaul. I'm hoping Toronto. To right now, I just I feel like Sugar Freeze is just doing work. Yeah. I do think Lip might be a slightly better tracer though. What do you think? I, I'm not too familiar I, with the Sugar Freeze. I don't game. know too much about Lips, but I played against Sugar Freeze multiple times. Uh, he's a really good player. Um, I don't know. That's a great question. I feel like. Nice. Damn, wow. I think individually, I think maybe Crazy, Crazy Raccoon has it, but team team play, we'll see. He's trying to find an angle and deploys the ball. Bob is good. Nice. Gives some better good sight Bob. lines as they make their way over to the point. But Crazy Raccoon have already done enough. Maybe even able to walk away with a bit more. Ooh, oh, don't, my God. Don't coach gun yourself off. Ooh, 1 HP. Nice. Under their control. And do what they can with it. Jay, can we vote on a phrase for you to say when you're at the desk? I'm not even gonna. I don't even think I'm gonna say uh, any phrase. I don't even. I don't even know what they want me to do, Chan. What are they cheering? Oh, they were saying something. They were cheering something. I think. Of Toronto to fight. A good sleep will send him napping for the time being. A little reprieve from RuPaul now as he uh, looks behind him. Oh Has my gosh. Check. A missed post bomb from Lip, but Vegas already down. A two pronged attack from Crazy Raccoon. Sends the back line of Toronto to fight, really. Toronto no. up to uh, I think Toronto, Raccoon, the, uh, yeah, the yeah, Toronto the fine is going to take the hell here. Ooh, I like that aggressive play. Ooh. Look at RuPaul coming back in with the Kiriko Vega over to the Lucio. And the hoping that this last ditch echo pick is going to be enough, but someone's got to get there and trigger the overtime. They got the touch. You got to imagine that was Sugar Free Vegas too below. Has to amp it up. Getting changed. Oh. Tags from around the corner, but Sugar Free makes it even with a kill on the lip. A duplication on the point from Heezang trying to chase someone away. This primal rage is gonna get on in a, a matter of minutes. Oh, that's a that's big. That's big. No, that's big. That's a big primal. That's good dodging though. Yeah. They still got these tank mechanics. Someone's too below. RuPaul eventually chased down his over time. That jump before like raccoon is kicking. Only someone left on the point, but that's I think that's GG's. No chance for Vegas. No, he didn't.
it touch. Damn. Crazy Raccoons needs that win for their mental. Damn. That was a good first round, though. Great first round. Team Peps. Team Peps. Hey guys, Team Peps ain't here, bro. Put that put that down, man. Team Peps couldn't even make it. Who is on Team Peps? It's a great question. It was a French team, right? I don't know. Was it a French team? Yeah. I thought that was an NNA team. One extra round there. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest with you. You could tell me who's in my family, and I, I probably would fail. Two Team Falcons. Now where do they go? They're definitely not going to go to a dive map. Maybe they just try and match him in the mirror and win it from there. A lot of tape as well you can kind of study, not only uh, from that last game, but from your series <laughs> against them yesterday. That 3-0. It's worth pointing out, though, we did end up going to Hanaoka <laughs> as one of the map picks. What are you uh, going to say Toronto when you on the desk? That. Yo, and what's up, guys? Strap in, strap on. From crazy oh, I, don't, I don't know, chat. I'm not going to say anything. I don't even know how it's going to go. I get nervous when I do things that's not on my stream. Like an interview here on my stream, fine with. If they, if they, if this was anywhere else, I'm scared. I'm scared. That's why you just need to practice. The more exposure you get, the less nervous. Get onto the Genji. He well, I mean, just stare. Going after the bear, going just after stare. The you want me to? You want me to get on the desk and be like? This wrecking ball Oh, I dare you. At some apart. point, we have so many good highlights. If you, if you, if you get nervous, just be like, "Hey guys, how what's many up?" Dash he was able uh, to get. Like, just speak like really nonchalantly, well, and then maybe just very, add like, "For real, for real." I guess oh, yeah, yeah. at some point. Hey J3, welcome to you know the desk. Do you have to say anything? Are you excited? No, man, I'm gonna be honest with you. This is just a normal type of day for me, type shit. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, We're starting yeah, to okay, run out can't say chances. type shit, but yeah, man, all the other stuff. I'm gonna be honest with you, this is just another day, another dollar, you know what I mean? <laughs> Let me get a holla now. <laughs> no, bro. Hi, guys, I'm sister. With the help of Twitch well, Prime. Oh. That almost, right? Yeah, that please don't do that. What do you mean, please don't do that? I mean... Yeah, you know what I mean, man. Just uh, another dollar, let me get a holla. Can I get five gifted? Yeah. Oh my god. Do you, uh, th th that would be so funny if they say, Hey guys, okay, J3, is there anything that uh, you want to say to your fans? Yeah, can I get five gifted? Oh my god, I want to say that. J3, is there anything you want to say to the Overwatch community? Yeah, I have a mortgage to pay off. Can I get five gifted? <laughs> I mean, just fight crazy raccoon actually winning that map. No, because I'm gonna be honest with you, my community <laughs> might think that's funny, but other people who don't know me are gonna be like, yo, fuck this guy. This guy's a piece of shit. They're gonna be like, this guy's a piece of shit. Fuck J3, bro. We wanna play Yep. Absolutely. God, Discord sucks. I, I like right. Right. Well, if anyone teams, here, I, I know so I'm going to tune in on my phone as well, but I'm going to go to the official no broadcast and just spam bold. Toronto, Crazy Raccoon, Team <laughs> oh, Falcons, is that okay? What, what do you want us to spam? Because they can play really I want you to do like whatever your heart desires. I'm going to purposely talk low, though. I'm going to be like, okay, guys, I'm ready. Yo, I'm ready for the interview. Time off the timing as humanly possible. I can imagine we're going to go for a few little spawn holds here. Can I get one gifted for every hair on my head? Performance against Toronto to find here. And I'm going to unfollow you everywhere, and you'll never see me again. Wait. You promise? A bit of a, a, a rising star, especially looking at the. Uh, no, the joking, that's year. toxic. He's going up against the, the reigning champion, of course, in someone. Rookie status compared to someone, most definitely. Him and Max came in, and people were like. Are you allowed to do the interview in a Kakona accent? Yo, goddamn there, brother. Listen, I'm just happy to be here like I'm happy to be with my sister. <laughs> what? I don't think you can say that. I, I, I'm just going to be myself. Hey, Max is right there. No, please don't be yourself. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> you can't say that. <laughs> be anyone but yourself. Okay, I'm gonna be Emily. Hey guys, it's nice to meet you. My name is Emily. Chengdu Hunters. Woo! Yeah. I play Symmetra, May, and Torbjorn. 
What, what's another thing that you say? Um, I don't know. You know, you know what I say. What do you say? Like my. Uh, I don't really have any catchphrases now. What these three? Oh, you have a you have a catchphrase. Shut up, J3. Oh, you guys, you don't see that on stream. Usually, yeah, she does that privately. No, I'm joking. <laughs> she doesn't do that. It was a joke. <laughs> Out of the gate here. Oh. Sugar free on the Widowmaker. Just hoping to get a quick pick, but it's just not meant to be. That crazy raccoon already sniffed that out. Ended up sending some focus fire there. And so Sugar Free coming back out of the spawn She's on the echo there. to make sure that you can actually take those kills to he says. She's gonna lay down right there. Great form not available. Oh Sugar Free. And this is something Keystack was doing a lot too. And you mentioned it in the previous series. Focusing down that echo is so important. Save the focus to beam a lot of the time for the tanks, but she Jonathan misses you. One extra try shot, then a focus and beam. And that is so one very dead echo, and you can see how much damage that's already done. 80% old charge already. I almost she's, she's, she's staring at us. She's staring at us. Oh my god, she is staring at us. Oh my god, look at the, look at the cat, chat. She's like staring at us. Uh, not anymore. If it even gets in focus, look, she's right there on the stairs. She's right there, just chilling. Okay, give them a meter at least. Crazy recruit basically have a uh, two DPS holes now. Oh, you know what would be really two funny? Two is, DPS um, maybe even two I don't know who's going to be interviewing you, but just be like, hey, I mean, you say it in your own words, but you can talk right. about how Look at where he's saying is you almost made it to OWCS finals as well, Team Overwatch. Right but, you know, you wanted to give other people a chance, so you guys decided. I'd probably do that. I can do that. Yeah, my team overwatched with, uh, you know, me, Custa, uh, Emong, Apply, Apply and Car Q. Yeah, we, we could have made it and won all this, but we wanted, we felt bad and we wanted other people to win and be in the spotlight, so we, we kind of just, like, stopped playing. And this is Shambhali Monastery. This is a map that we often see these close spawn holds result in something like a full hold on this first point. And it's not looking good here for Toronto Defiant. Double support ultimates, maybe one way to be able to get out the gates. It's gonna be the rally for the good start for Vega. Smash his lip before he can use that shift. Wait, the actually, how come you guys there's never there's asked SK? Doesn't SK On a different team. Oh, SK is a different team. Uh, Good shit, Merrick. Good it shit. Require them to invest this rally as well as the death That's a good spawn hold, though. You still have so much else that you can rotate through. And that was the first big issue, just getting past that spawn hold. But you can see why that is so effective for a lot of our teams on the defense. Crazy Raccoon get a chance to recontest it twice now. One more right at this point, and right before that first checkpoint gets blocked. off. TP into lift on to the back line, looking for RuPaul. Hits the ship, goes sky high. And here comes oh, the old nice. Ray. Nice. Wow, Sugar Free, Sugar Free, Sugar Free. Nah, Sugar Free, Sugar Free is like caring right now. He he is putting his team on his back. Another eco fight for them as they get two more big ultimates out of Toronto's bank. It's only going to be this cage from someone that Crazy Raccoon have to deal with for this final recontest on the first point. 50 seconds left. Crazy Raccoon coming back into this with the cage of their own to start. Double cage. Oh no. It's not good. He's, uh, in a little bit of trouble, but luckily, luckily for them. Jay, could you compete with these guys? Listen, I would, but their salary is not enough to pay me. Plus, Blizzard pays me not to compete because I'm just so jacked and tall and handsome. Blizzard literally wrote me a hand, like written letter saying, Hey, J3, we understand you're the best player in the world. Can you give other people a chance? We'll give you five trillion dollars to not play every season. And I was like, you know what? Fine, I can play for a few seasons, even though it's like they're lowballing me. I like five okay. trillion. Come okay. on. Can we touch though? Can we touch? Okay. First point might be theirs. They need to get to the point. Wow. I was actually really surprised that they were not going to touch, but good shit. Going to be on lock now. Someone is pretty low. I think there's a chance Crazy Raccoon to come back with a little bit. Thank goodness they touched. First point for Toronto. Rally now in their sails as they go through the second objective. And this is tough. We've seen a lot of teams actually get stopped on this second point because of how close you have to play together. Rally's certainly going to help with that, but Shu also has this orbital raise. That's going to be support alt versus support alt in these very, very close quarters. 
Yeah, this rally has to be big from Vega. Looks like a high ground control here. There's the orbital ray. Perfectly positioned too. It's going to go down that small ramp as well. Just help them sustain through this fight. An inevitability for Crazy Raccoon. Wow, they are spawn camping. They do not want them out. Like, that's the best hold, to be honest with you. And even if they all die, the cart's so far back, by the time the other team kills them and gets to the cart, they're already they're probably going to be back. Wait, did he just use his ult? Oh, that's not good, but... I mean... Someone, someone, someone's tracking is... Dirty. Oh, he accidentally ran over him. <laughs> he was, they were staggering him and he just ran over him. Yeah, but Toronto Defiant had the double DPS ult. So already looking at the opportunity to layer down maybe two of these Death Blossoms. You also still have the cage from someone, so great way to be able to trap people in place. But 50 seconds left. Toronto need to get past this corner if they want to capture the second point. Spots out Rue and that's the target he wants. He's actually been blocked out by the cage from someone. A uh -oh, I'm, not, I'm actually really surprised he didn't go nice. in there. A Death Blossom from Mary and Stop. It's a good copy. Splits off the rest of the team and Sean can't protect him with the barrier. A duplication from He's Tank to try and turn the tide. And a free cage in this fight as well. And over up through. The oh, they're gonna, they're gonna cap it. Nice. <laughs> nice, they chat. The right. They were ready for anything Crazy Raccoon could throw at them. Already extending so much of their life in this map is Toronto. Sugar Free has After came out to play, man. And a chance to work on this third one, but only a minute and 30 seconds to try to make it towards the end. And we see very, very few teams complete Shambali Monastery on the attack. Now that Crazy Raccoon also have the Orbital Ray advantage, they can hold Toronto Defiant at these doors. Being economical, that's what Crazy Raccoon need to be right now. Can't blow everything at once. With the fear that Toronto Divine can run them over next fight. Yo, chat, be nice yeah, to each other, bro. Honestly, I think I honestly I think Sugar Free is the only one here that could possibly beat me and Bronze. The worst player in this game could beat you a million times. <laughs> what's good? What's up, Liam? I'm doing good. First time watching from Australia. I've been watching you since Let's Go Champ. Haven't been able to catch us uh, live because of the time difference. Oh, you're good. What's up, my friend? Oh, Merit. Good job, Merit. There we go. Another one. Another one. That's insane. Chase him, chase him, chase him. Very tough on their time bank. They're oh. running to the spawn. They managed to get out. Oh, Sugar Free has the. Oh! Oh my god. As this clock starts to down 10 seconds left. Toronto looking at this orbital ray to finish it off. Crazy Raccoon wants to end it right here, right now, but this orbital ray is going to make it very difficult. Oh, they want to end it, but they're not going to end it. now looking for the finish. And take a look at someone having this cage and just lock them down by the spawn doors. That's exactly what he's doing. He's setting up. Oh, right that's going to be good. That's nice. going to be good. Force him, force him in main and lock him Hell down. Hell yeah. Nice. They're not going to touch, are they? Oh, the brick did touch. <laughs> I would have just caged point, to be honest with you, I feel. Yeah. I, I, it, was a good, it was a good play, but. Oh, no. Nah. Wow, what a what a play! The fact I'm gonna be honest with you, the fact that they caged main because they thought they were gonna go through main to touch, and then they ended up going to the side and touching. I think it was the brig rally. Damn! If the brig did have rally, I'm not so sure. And there's a win condition on the board for them. Just get, just just stop crazy raccoon. But Toronto can win this. They basically pushed it to the end. Are they gonna be trying these spawn holes? On both first and second, they should try. I think if they want to have a chance to win, they should try. We saw how much time Crazy Raccoon got mm. off of the clock with just how many attempts and how many defenses they were actually mm. able to go through. Oh my god, I'm tired is that now. Something that those time to go to sleep. Do afford you. I'm tired. No, I just, had to, I, just, I, just, I just had a stretch. No, I just want to get my. Uh, <clears throat> oh no, in just a second. 
I'm gonna get this so I can look presentable and not like lip. <laughs> if you catch my drift, you wanna come over? Yeah. Uh oh, I just got a notification and it is motion detection downstairs. This has become a daily part of my life now. Every time I get a notification, I gotta look at the cats. Am I turning into a crazy cat person now? Oh, let me let me feed him again. Feed You've now. Always been crazy. Looks like it's gonna be a close spawn hole here from Toronto. Did we get some sleep? We got a lot. Oh, we got we got 12 hours of sleep last night. I feel like now I'm on their time difference now. That mega health pack taken away a little bit too early there for RuPaul to pull back on. They at least end up trading one for Lip, but they still have to worry about he's done. The beam, oh, sugar free. Tried for the inch. Dang. Damn. Okay. That was a little okay. bit too much. Hello. Oh, you. Oh, you. Oh, thank you, guys. You're still able to get a couple of picks, and so that's very important just to make sure that you can actually start to build up to those ultimates and you're not going to get too off pace with what Crazy Raccoon has already built. But Toronto get another chance here. You can see how this close spot hold is already paying off. Being able to play around this corner when you have a bit better sight mark. Wait, you can wear it on Oh, there you go. There's a uh, there's a cat walking. Noodle. Chat, they gave me a Torbjorn hat. Torbjorn. I like it. Oh, it's nice fabric too. Ooh, you know what I could do? I could probably try to get all the streamers to sign in. And then you can have like a, a streamer hat. Now you can cover your bald spot. Hey, now you can eat my ass. There you go, there's the point. Four and a half minutes. And RuPaul is stuck behind that enemy territory, has to go for that reset off the map, and that means that okay. Crazy Raccoon Sorry, Chan, was already around this corner Let's get this. Toronto cannot step up to the plate. Wait. But with the cage, feeling pretty good about being able to take this next fight. We have to deal with jump-ins as well. Mm. So playing around this corner is going to be very nice here for Toronto. Maybe Eat the first one. Death loss in here from Mary oh my god, really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's get it. Cage versus cage. Big, big, I want yours big. Awesome. Nice. Come on, NA. Come on, NA. Can I steal SK? You can see how right after Jimda hit the cage, Merit said, perfect opportunity. Everybody wants to fight in this, but now I'm going to use that tool against you. The Torbjorn hat. Yeah. Stop this part for now. A little bit of a forward position here from Toronto, trying to play uh. on this high ground, use that window to get some pulse damage. As Sugar Free wants to get this duplicate up for this next fight, <laughs> but double DPS out here for Chris. What are snooze? It's gonna be hard to set up with lips over. He's like going into the back line, moving into a reaper, so it could be a double death loss on the four crazy raccoon and someone just taking so much damage. He's like with a pulse. Thank you, thank you. Sugar Free. Oh, he's got the. What is Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So sweet. Woo! Yeah. I'm gonna. Should I wear it now? Yeah. Well, would he fit? Or. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. That's fine. having the orbital rate for this next one, too. Yeah, what a, what a big fight. Toronto still get another recontest here for the second fight. But you've got Crazy Raccoon that held on to the Death Blossom. They've got that orbital uh, ray to make it even more powerful as they yeah. approach the like, end of the second point. Like sold or is it out? To blow or? someone up. No? Oh. Get off this death They need a pick. Well, there it is. That's it. Trying to set up. Oh, the death blossom them on top of the point. Oh, my goodness. Even that cardiac overdrive mixed oh, with that okay, orbital okay. ray is nothing is compared to the damage from that death blossom. And there's the next point. 
Toronto oh, okay. staring down the power right now sure. of match point two. Three minutes and like 30 seconds going on to third. A notorious hard map to finish. I can wear it if you want it. Crazy yeah, recruits can have multiple attempts at it as well. Yeah, exactly. The, just the three and a half minutes affords you a couple of chances at this. You should wear this. Yeah. See, so jumping half okay. the away though. Doesn't want to take too much damage or give Sugar Free that free pick. Yo, what's up, Beaver? How you doing? I need to get them. Here for this death loss in the back. Well, which was actually a good opportunity to go in. Can't Both of you. That's got rain form as well, but actually he's back. Nice. Very good as Ryan's tail. The score ends up killing Lim. And I was just split. They have three minutes for the last phase, though. The gate. How he's you doing, Beaver? Once again, deliver it for Crazy Raccoon. Another kill. It's just back to back to back. But, yeah, yeah. Night from he's back. He's saying has a duplicate for this. Fi potentially final fight as well. Nice. Just after all of that Man, damage I gotta go that get, uh, out in that last fight. I gotta go get uh, double DPS alt here for Crazy Raccoon. This feels like an overwhelming oh, amount of force that will push Toronto's defense over. The ultimate economy is perfect. Good win shot there. Stops the you can ask him later. Thank you. Oh, Suze is chewing tobacco. Oh, I don't think Jay will do that. Wait, what? Jay's not into tobacco. Oh, yeah. I'm not a tobacco oh, person. No. Oh, that's already game. Wow. They're... See, as much as I want Toronto to find a win and how well Sugar Free is playing, that is... 2-0. That is crazy. I'm going to go get Illusion real quick in Poco. Too many Reapers, man. From potentially getting revenge on Team Falcons in that final. Toronto, they're putting up a fight. They're putting up their very it's best. basically four death uh, losses every fight. Yeah. A lot of Reapers. Feels like destiny at this point. Just the I crazy think Echo's abilities are cool, Falcons though. It's cool to be able to copy again. someone. But that map still felt so close from Toronto. I feel like they are just small steps away from being able to actually get these map wins versus Crazy Raccoon. We saw that magic on the first map being able to take a round off of Crazy Raccoon, and now we ended up seeing it go down to just the final mere mirrors on Shambali Monastery. So they're so close. Team Falcons that striking is, distance. Uh, maybe they just uh, need... They already played, and... Um, yeah, they just need a little more. Much improved compared RuPaul to is I mean, on Defiance. And a very decisive Hanawoka. I've won this, uh, just an insane... Team Falcons uh, is the one with like Hanbin, Shield, Crazy Fielder, very Popper, and from Stalker. Toronto. They're close rows, like you said, so close to coming up with a good... Can they actually round this down? Because they need a reverse sweep. They've been in very close games recently. North American Overwatch... It's okay. Maybe Toronto Defiant will very win the close. next one. That map 7 versus Nightmare in Stage 4 was just unbelievable Overwatch. Of course, we knew Crazy Raccoon and Team Falcons were going to take this tournament to another level. It being the World Finals, everybody is bringing their A game. North America right on the cusp right now of taking some big maps up against some superstars and histor um, historic players. But as you said, it requires a reverse sweep which is just such a tall ask for any team in the situation, knowing that your tournament life is on the line, your season could end here. But if we've seen any team be able to have those clutch moments, it has been Toronto Defiant. With those close matches, with what we've already seen from the tournament so far, we know that each of these players has such a big carry potential. Hi, they Balance Diet. It. They gotta dig deep Welcome for to these the next stream. couple of maps. Map choice once more for Well, Toronto. Jay's doing great. Row was He's another gonna He's a free change his shirt and we'll probably there. go on broadcast later. Maybe that's where they want to go. This mirror looks close. But so You're gonna Again, sit back here, right? Because I was Toronto gonna go grab they are getting better. They are getting two there. boxes Maybe that's of food. Need, that yeah, one extra map. Hey, Real quick. Week, anything is possible. You sure? Especially on okay. stage. No, no, no. Stack Just go through it. here. Go that way. So I go through that Microsoft, exit and then I going into yeah. that third point. Toronto getting it in OT, a minute and a half. J3's pulse bomb attach rate, hundred percent as well. Their Obviously, is so so clean. Very very conservative when it comes to fights, but you need that in this meta, an alt dependent meta. No substitutions on either side, so no max. Toronto taking us to New Junk City. Could New potentially decide the final fate of this match. But New Junk City.
this is where we get a chance to see Toronto really thrive, but can yes, they sir. actually be the ones to set the pace? Can they actually be the ones to play proactively? Because that's been very difficult against any of these Korean teams. Yeah. I mean, we saw how, and uh, like, kind of the small differences. It's a mirror comp, comes down to a skill matchup, but you can still see the stylistic differences between both teams. Crazy Raccoon wants to play up to your spawn at every possible opportunity where they can just eke out as much time out of the time bank. But also, the payloads are aggressing. It, I don't think it can be understated, especially when you are that aggressive, how much the payload can just kind of dip 100%, back. 100%, he never misses, ever. It almost ever. guarantees you another fight in some exactly. cases. Exactly, signal, you, you know see it's Crazy up. Raccoon trying to finish this one out. A lower bracket final with a chance at that world title. Team Falcons waiting for their competition. I'm sure they'll be looking at this game pretty rigorously. Or looking at the Crazy Raccoon game, again, uh, that they played a minute ago. Thesaurus uh, departing some final words of wisdom to Toronto Defiant. The last hope of North America. They need a complete reverse sweep as we go to New Junk City. This is what I want to see from Toronto here. I want to see Sugar Free on the Genji. Just exceptional blade potency. Juggling with not using your shield bash too early, not using your flail, your shield health. You don't want to take too much damage, so you need to use the shield to kind of protect yourself. Wanted to find, going to try a different angle. Looks like Crazy Raccoon are going to match it, though. Surely you understand if you're Toronto at this point how aggressive they're going to be. Wow, that's a, that's a rare copy from he's done. Oh, Toronto taking out Merit, though. Ooh, that is going to be first point. Toronto to find out capping. No touches, so okay. They do get a flip, but the likelihood is that Crazy Raccoon just take this one. Yeah, overtime is gonna tick down, but someone's actually approaching for the low ground, and overtime does get triggered. Yeah, Cardiac like Overdrive has been uh, popped as well. There is the Orbital Ray, the cage comes in. Wow, someone's teleport just evaporating. Crazy Raccoon is just gonna run over them now, especially with uh, this rally. It was a worthwhile attempt. They didn't end up using TPS Ultimate, nor the Rally. They didn't have it, so lucky for them. There is the first point on the board. But those Ultimates can be really good to make sure that this next Flashpoint can be theirs. It's going to be so important. Every single second matters. Jesus, so Molly can't see him. Jay's almost back from the bathroom. Unless he got... Recognize even by fans. Look, look at this cage or maybe he's just, you know, could just be a doing his usual thing. As Toronto get ready with the rally. Yeah, Hi, forgiving. How have you been liking the food? Pass. Oh, the it's food well, is awesome. That focus is good. And everything just tastes Between better in Europe. The food tastes so fresh, so clean. No pulse start to a torpedo action. Fairly affordable, too. They're going to get the first cap again. 
Yeah, there's not enough coordination from Toronto to make Whenever the, the bill comes out, we always get a heart attack at first. The, the like, very early oh, there. this was 12,000. But then we uh, <laughs> convert it to U.S. dollars and we're like, oh, okay, no, that's reasonable. All those cooldowns were gone from Toronto. Blade goes sugar-free, though. Let's see if this can get them back in. He's been bombed to place early. He goes in, gets a lot of damage on Lip, trying to force that range yeah. forward, but Lip's got bullets with Sugar Freeze name on. He's back now, changing over to the Genji. Oh, Isn't sure, it annoying get when the Echo on the enemy team go. copies you? He's gotta get it. And then oh, not quite. Hasn't got enough time, Stabby. Oh, good, he didn't get to Blade. <laughs> now, at least. Just to show them that he had that ultimate online. And then you just get a taste of your own medicine. Again. Like, this is last fight for this Flashpoint. They're gonna Double go support early. ultimates too. They no want to go they aggro. Can. They want to get in your face, in your backline. RuPaul just succumbs to the lip. Reaper once again, but this orbital rate. Very Even in Europe, taste, food, food can taste horrible. Oh, well, really obviously we didn't go out of our way for the nasty well. foods. We only went to the best restaurants. Strong for uh, maybe just you know, a more delectable food. To get back we had to try the meatballs the and the uh, there was this little sausage um, dish that we tried and, and we had pizza here as well. And then speeding. Did Sport I say 12,000? I meant 1,200. I'm sorry, I meant 1,200. We didn't spend 12,000. 12,000 is like if I can could be a family of eight. It's the slam. Lips did touch a good spot as well. Can't air Cobra Drive's gonna keep someone helping for the time being in that rally as well. It's in the front line, it's just gonna stun. Should be up. Vega just Oh yeah, it, well Italy is like there for Toronto to find one of the food capitals of the world. For crazy nice. raccoon. They, end up do, they do end up killing Vega. East Lang going down could be quite bad. He does have the duplication to save himself, but doesn't ideally want to use it. Oh, good kill. Yeah, it's a really Clip good echoes wings. That is good going job, to Toronto. A lot of problems for crazy raccoon. He's been going down with a duplicate. Toronto gets to play a bit more aggressively now. They know they can stop Crazy Raccoon I think at their spawn. What's they nice about this flash eating point. here in they Europe is Maybe. you don't have to look lit. very hard to find healthy too. and delicious food. Ah, uh, Toronto's got this. Surely. Oh, unless you copy a Malga. Oh boy. Oh my god. Oh no. Wait. Wait. Toronto does not got this. Again and again and again he comes up clutch. One more flash point for Crazy Raccoon. If you're gonna go to the bathroom, go now because I'm going. I'm leaving. And a chance at oh, okay. the grand finals. But Toronto. I'll wear, I'll wear my ugly sweater because I'm actually cold. And He's saying he's putting up numbers. He's getting the kills. He's having that clutch for Crazy Raccoon and giving them this opportunity. Sugar Free wants a chance to show us too. Looks like Torong's got the old, but he's saying he was above Sugar Free the whole time. Just microwaves him with that focusing beam. Nothing is stopping He's Stang right now. Point captured, third time in a row. Crazy Raccoon start off with a cap. He's Stang's proving everybody that he deserved that role MVP. And he might just do it if he can get Crazy Raccoon back into that grand final. I think position. this is my mic. Hello, chat. Hello, hello. Emily had to go to the bathroom, so you guys are stuck with me. <laughs> Is my hair okay to go on the on the stage? That's a cool shirt. I want one. What this? This sweater? The sweater is um oh. That was a really big fight for Toronto to win. I know they had to spend a lot of ultimates there, investing the cage on top of those support alts, but having the double DPS is what's been really powerful in this meta. You can use that to play a lot more macro in that back line. Make sure that you can actually snipe out Toron. But Orbital Ray or Death Blossom, this has been a deadly combo. Death Blossom straight on top. Lips is doing an immense amount of damage. And he's saying there to just tickle everybody to death. Crazy Raccoon just wiped the floor. Team kill, final fight potential here. Crazy Raccoon are going to play up cage in 10%. 
Once again, Toronto's hopes fall on the back of Sugar Free, the star, one of the star DPSs for this roster. And it's gonna have to be the biggest duplicate. From Sugar Free, looking for a target, doesn't want to get taken out by Heastank yet again. Final fight here is the cage available from Jimbin. Might be able to lock someone down. Merritt on the sidelines is going to get forced out. There's the duplicate from Sugar Free turning his sights towards Jumbin. Merritt is full and so is Vega. Death Blossom comes in from Sugar Free and takes care of Heesang. But someone has to pay attention to Lip. But it is Sugar Free that comes up with the numbers. There's the kill. There's another Death Blossom. Right in the nick of time for Toronto to be able to get back, control this flashpoint, and deny Crazy Raccoon from the 3-0 sweep on New Junk City. Perfection demanded of this roster to see themselves through the rest of this map. Orbital Ray from RuPaul. Gotta be a big one. RuPaul's gotta stay alive though first. Oh, the snipe from Hickson! It's unbelievable! Ray! Gone for Toronto to find in their hopes and dreams as well. Crazy Raccoon and he's dang. Tis truly a master of work. Wait, is that game? That creates beauty from what he's That might be playing. game, right? Crazy There's no way. With a 3 0 eliminate NA's last hopes from the world finals. And now they get their chance to get revenge on Team Falcons. What a season for Toronto Defiant. I know it is disappointing to see their hopes fall short here, but they should be proud of themselves.